If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how you should prepare and get ready for and kind of just like understand the kickoff promo that should be dropping this week. Now, last year, it would have dropped a week from this Thursday, but... Yeah, last year there was a hurricane in Florida, and EA headquarters, of course, is down there. So that kind of threw off the whole thing. So we believe it was probably delayed because of that. So for the most part, I think we'll be dropping this week. It could be dropping anywhere from Monday all the way, I believe, through Friday. Considering Thursday is the Thursday night kickoff of the NFL season with the Chiefs versus the Falcons, which is going to be a great game, of course. Super excited to watch that. Guys, today's the last Sunday with the NFL football. Now, while that NFL may not be directly, you know, directly what we're doing here, but it correlates the entire year for us because... People watch football, they want to play Madden, and kind of, you know what I'm saying? You watch that Sunday game, you want to come play. But besides the point, kickoff promo is coming, guys. If you are into the channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to our boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are excited for the kickoff promo. And if you don't exactly know what the kickoff promo does entail, go check out my video from, I believe it was two days ago, going over all the kickoff uh, promo details. Now, in terms of how to prepare, guys, kickoff promo, in my opinion, well, last year was a massive money grab, so that's what you have to understand. So obviously, if it's a money grab again, it's gonna be very money oriented. Like last year, you had to do collections and the collections required a ton of collectibles and the collectibles you got from packs and toppers, I believe. And the, it, it was just literally like, it was almost impossible to actually do the set. Like that's what it was like. It was so much money. Those cards went for upwards of 600K to a million coins, depending on the day. They, they weren't usable cards, but there is some stuff that is usable. So let's just say worst case scenario, the cards aren't usable again. A lot better stuff came out of that promo than the cards themselves. We got Hopkins, Rogers, Sherman, and Mac. At the end of the day, the most useful stuff from that was the training rewards and was the upgradable, evolvable type cards. Now, I'll explain that in a second. So, first off, guys, going into the kickoff promo, they do the same thing as last year. You're going to want to really do some thoughts, like thinking into projected records um, in terms of, because remember, these kickoff cards, some of them from last year were upgradable based on how many wins their team got. You also got a training quick sell based on how many wins the team got. So, I would recommend you look at some year-long projections, who was projected to have the highest uh, wins, and even do some dark horse research. Now, for example, guys, well, the sets are going to open up over here now. One of the sets was a training quick sell set, and you had a team. Like you got the, you, it was randomized. You could pick a team, but when you pick the team, you had to make, you had to give it a certain amount of collectibles, right? So, let me explain this to you. So, the Ravens, let's say you knew the Ravens were going to do good, or you knew the Chiefs were going to do good, so they made their collectibles 20 to do them. Now, you knew the Giants were going to do bad, and the let's say um, the Giants and the uh, Dolphins. So they only cost five collectibles. So it's like, you could take the Dol Dolphins or Giants, but you know you're not gonna get out training back. You can do the Chiefs or the, or the Tech or the, or the Ravens, but that costs a lot. So you kind of know what you're getting there. But then there was Dark Horse teams and the Randomizer set. Now the Randomizer set was super cool because you put like five in or seven, like seven in, seven or eight, and you got a random team in the NFL. Now I got the 49ers, which I was very upset about. Little did I know they'd go to the Super Bowl and I'd get one of the high, I, get, I think I got like the highest training quick sell in, in the game. But that's where you want to do some research. You definitely want to do some of those randomizers and probably get some dark horse teams. Like if you think the Giants can win 10 plus games this year, which I know they won't, but if you think they could, or you know your Falcons could, or, or like the Browns are going to have this big year, definitely go ahead and pick those up. As well as guys, the players are same thing. There's going to be players like last year, there was an 83 Carson Wentz, and for every win, he, every win the Eagles got, he went up and overall. So they're kind of like training investments. So first off, get your investment brain ready, guys. It's going to be, you, you might not notice it at first, going to be like, that Carson Wentz sucks, that Minka whatever sucks. Um... Those guys suck. No, no. This is all investments. This is that's gonna be hit kickoff was such a good investment period. If you picked up like seven of those players that were 83 overalls for a good price, and they and they all went up to at least 88, 93s, you're looking at a half a million coins worth of profit. Plus, you or you could just quick sell them later for training. Think of it as like a training investment for the future, which I, I think you're better off taking the coins per se. But point is, guys, make sure you have your investments ready to go when you guys go ahead and do that. As well as kickoff promo is gonna introduce hopefully a few challenges and some house rules, guys. Now house rules are very time consuming. Depending on how EA does them this year, um, last year House Rules was time consuming. Like they gave us, they gave us a, a 30 win one. I think one time they even gave us like a 75 win one. But that one was like obviously we were quick games. Trust me, it, it's a hassle. Uh, house Rules are fun until they're not fun. If you guys know what I mean, like they're fun until like you only, you have like 10 games. You know, like it's 20 games. You have 10 done. And you're like they're just really feeling like hassle at this point. But they do great, bring great, uh, great rewards. I could see them doing a House Rules to give us one of those some tokens to uh, complete some of the collectibles again, or they can get some of those free players or a team randomizer training quick sell. So just all I gotta say is, 
make sure you're maximum level 50 before this hits because if you guys are planning on because first off leveling up naturally is very hard in this game um in my opinion you could grind out solos right the jack young blood solo play for 15 minutes 20 minutes level up once you could play madden for that long and play a full game and someone could quit on you and you can get like that much of a bar trust me it takes so much longer um so if you're not like if you want to get the power pass for 88 to 89 or get some of the quick sales or get this like this premium pack right here you're going to have to you're not going to really grind out solos during this time period because those house rules really all you want to, it's really all you want to do in my opinion that's all you guys want to do for the most part everyone's so focused on doing the house rules and playing the solos you're not going to be leveling up so make sure you're maximum level 50 make sure you played your token challenges make sure you're playing them they got extended to 912 so i'm super happy so once i saw that i took my time on them again don't enjoy playing them make sure you're getting these all done because these are long solos and the last thing you want to do like guys i always tell you this right now we're like in like a little dead madden period and so things really start popping out so make sure you're playing the solos and get this stuff all done before you go into this kickoff promo because once kickoff starts we get some house rules for it where the season starts and everything it's gonna get kind of like it's gonna start getting real fast at that point in terms of like these and these do expire in the 12 so that's six days so although you might have some free time in a week at that point these are already gone so just make sure you're getting these done guys before that comes out and as far as the house rules guys your team doesn't really matter you don't really have to have a stack team for it i mean house rules is easy they're usually quick games people quit you quit it's just kind of how those games work now in terms of how many coins you need for the kickoff promo it's really iffy so when i get the top players you're gonna need over a million coins because the top players are just expensive i i mean unless they change it this year and make it better but think about it kickoff promo last year was 91 overalls so if they keep that same that same build 90 to 91 overalls the cards will at least go for 250k but if they make them collectible based, the cards are going to go for at least 500k. Last year, they were crazy because there was just no one really wants That kickoff bundle sucked. No one wants to open it. It wasn't worth it. And the thing was, one kickoff bundle didn't even get you the player. It was like you needed like one or two or three or something like that. So it just didn't make sense. But guys, if they do end up dropping that. So, you, so if we go to the auction block, a 91 overall. So I, I don't see them going for the price of Barry again like they did last year. Like that was kind of absurd. I think EA will try to tune it a little bit to make sure it falls in the jurisdictions of like what's going on now. So I can see these kickoff players going for like 280 Anywhere between 300k, let's go 300k and 600k. I think they'll, they'll tune it so the collectibles either A, don't take as much, or B, are easier to get. Or maybe C, they just do masters with sets. Like, that'd be a lot better. Masters with players and the Nat sets. You know, I love those. That'd be way better, in my opinion. Bo Jackson has come down in price quite a bit now at this point. 590. Whew. Anyways, that's pretty much it for how to, uh, pretty much how to prepare. It's not, it's not too advanced. Just be ready to invest. Have coins to invest. Because like I said, last year, I had bought a team, I think, right before kickoff came out. So then when kickoff did come out, I didn't really have too many coins. Like I didn't do as many collectibles. I didn't do a lot of stuff. And then later in the year, I kind of regretted not having all those trainings, collectibles, and quick sells. Yes, I did get the Niners. I don't know when it was the quick sell was. The quick sell was really late. Like you were able to quick sell the like near the Super Bowl was a team when that one sucked. But the players were upgraded. They, they maxed out at a 93, so those were done around like November, no December-ish. So that that wasn't too bad around uh, the end of November, December. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's how to prepare and like what kind of what to expect a little bit all uh, mixed in there. Hopefully you guys are excited for the kickoff promo. I know I am. Last year wasn't bad and they really botched it. So I think this year if they just revamp it a little bit, we can get a much better promo than we did last year. Just in terms of non-money grabness because like, they, trust me, last year we all, every YouTuber looked at that and they went back, everyone just went back on YouTube and were like, this is the biggest money grab in EA history. Like, m kickoff is not a great promo in terms of uh, like user, no money spent, like just being able to play the game. It was really just one. It was like, you guys know those promos that come out like on like a well we used, there was some that used to be like that back in the old madden days i don't know if you guys played about how long you guys played for but some of them will quite literally be you had to open up like four bundles to get oh good example the blitz the blitz master that requires like 200 cds and to get those cds you have to open up literally like if you do the math you have to open up like 600 dollars worth of bundles it's that level last year but hope it doesn't happen again guys but that's about it for the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on about boys come join the family Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are excited for the kickoff promo. Leave me some predictions down below of some players you hope to see during that promo. We'll probably see four again. But guys, that's about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.